Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime, and you are watching our Prime 5, where we give you five big Nintendo stories from the last 24 hours. We actually only have four of them today, but some of these stories are really huge, including some really big game sales I don't want you to miss out on. Like, yeah, maybe you want to wait till Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and all that here if you're in the United States, but I'm telling you right now, the sales we're going to talk about today are some can't-miss goodness. That being said, if you enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and let's get into the news. And our first batch of sales today for our first story comes from Amazon, who is running an early October sale for all of you guys out there looking to either buy a Switch or buy Switch games, digital or physical. So let's get into the game list, shall we? So we have Nintendo Switch Sports selling for $39.99. We have Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury selling for $39.99. We have The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD on sale for $39.99. We have Animal Crossing New Horizons plus Happy Home Paradise DLC for $59.99. Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity is $39.99. Yoshi's Crafted World is $39.99. New Pokemon Snap is $39.99. Life is Strange True Colors is $29.99. Neo The World Ends With You is on sale for $24.99. The Ninja Saviors Return of the Warriors is $29.55. Hunting Simulator is on sale for $24.80. Two Point Hospital is on sale for $21.99. Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics is on sale for $29.99. And Wonder Boy Collection for $21.99. Now these are physical games. Let's get into the digital sales they have on Amazon right now. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD for $39.99. Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury for $39.99. Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity for $39.99. Yoshi's Crafted World. New Pokemon Snap. Both of those are $39.99. $9.99. Super Mario Odyssey plus Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, a combo pack for $74.99, and then another combo pack of Splatoon 3 plus Kirby and the Forgotten Land for $99.99. Now they also have some accessories on sale as well. Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons are on sale for $71.99. The Nintendo Amiibo Zelda and Loftwing is on sale for $14.99. The Nintendo Amiibo Steve plus Alex 2-Pack is on sale for $26.99. The Hori Nintendo Switch Split Pad Pro is on sale for $44.99. The Tempered Glass Screen Protector for Switch OLED is on sale for $6.49. Nintendo Switch Carrying Case and Screen Protector Splatoon 3 edition Edition is on sale for $22.49 and the Nintendo Switch 512 gigabyte micro SDXC card is on sale for $67.99. I'm going to try to have a link to all of these sales down below. There'll be Amazon affiliate links if you guys want to help support the channel and buy any of this stuff. Obviously, we're getting to the sales season. We have, we have more sales to talk about before the Nintendo Switch eShop later in the video. And our next story deals with Viola and some new footage from Game Informer for Bayonetta 3, which remember, releases on October 28th. Viola apparently is slightly slower than Bayonetta and has a more deliberate style of attacking than she does. She also has a special demon friend named Cheshire, who she can send out in battle and a completely different way of triggering witch time. Obviously, just check out the video for more information if you want. We'll put a link to the full video down in our source section in the description. And yeah, you can see what makes her absolutely unique. Remember, Bayonetta 3 releases on October 28th. Some live streamers in Japan are doing some really weird things with Splatoon 3. It's not that they're just streaming Splatoon 3. They are literally taking the ink and making it vanish so they can play adult videos behind their live streams, and Nintendo is not happy about it. They issued the following warning on their Nintendo of Japan Twitter account. Use that violates Public Order and Morals Act that intentionally misled the rules of the game, acts that significantly damage the value of the game or characters and the world, and acts that encourage or take advantage of them will be deleted or legally enforced. We may take other measures. Please be careful. Now this is through a Google Translate, so that's why it sounds a little weird. Essentially, Nintendo of Japan is DMCA claiming all the videos and live streams that are doing this. Obviously, Nintendo does not want Splatoon 3 associated with adult content and people, you know, green screening out the ink colors and showing yeah, that's just not going to fly for Nintendo. And obviously, in most streaming platforms, streaming adult content in general is already against the law. So Hey, they thought they were clever. Oh, you know, the, the hashtag surrounding it actually started trending on Twitter. That's how Nintendo caught wind. And yeah, 
they're not letting that happen anymore. It's kind of sad that Nintendo has to deal with stuff like that, but everyone's always trying to make a quick buck, I suppose, and I guess uh, these streams were clearly getting a lot of attention. And our last story for today deals with Ubisoft, who is doing a spooky sale, as they call it. I, I don't know why. There's nothing spooky about it. It's just a Nintendo Switch eShop sale in October, but hey, it's spooky because it's Halloween! Yeah, don't, don't ask. Uh, so the games, you know, that I want to highlight that have on sale, they have Rabbids Party Legends is 40% off and now $23.99. Assassin's Creed Ezio Collection is 50% off and now $19.99. Uh, Stick of Truth, so South Park and the Stick of Truth is now 60% off and at $11.99. South Park and the Fractured Butthole is now 75% off and now at $14.99. Now, this game is one I really look forward to. Starlink Battle for Atlas is 80% off and now at $11.99. I don't know why I said look forward to. It's already in my collection and a really great game. And again, I don't know how this is spooky. None of it makes sense to me. But hey, it's Halloween time, I suppose, coming up. And my whole family wants to apparently get the blow-up dinosaur costumes and run around like we're from Jurassic Park. I don't know... This is going to be insane, and uh, we'll probably record some footage for you guys during our Halloween trek. Anyways, folks, thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Rumble Jads from the Tenor Prime. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of what's basically the Prime 4 today instead of the Prime 5, but hey, that's cool. Remember to tune into our podcast tonight over at the Nintendo Prime Podcast channel. We'll put a link to that podcast episode down below. It's episode 71. It's going to be live at 8 p.m. Central Time. You guys can come tune in. Join, uh, I believe it's me and Eric, and then I believe Andre's Restart might be coming on. Maybe the guest will change. I don't know. Mike Odyssey has to step out for some personal reasons. But anyways, folks, thank you guys, and we'll catch you in the next episode.